applying for Survivor, one of the jokes I made to the auditioning agents was that Survivor's just gonna be another day at the beach. Uh, it turned out that wasn't the case, but I thought it was. So I, I went into the show maybe with my confidence level a little bit too high, and, and doing Survivor actually, I think, humbled me a little bit. And my parents were very adamant about us spending a lot of time outside, and it just makes you a little more comfortable uh, you know, not always having a roof over your head on the weekends, maybe camping helps out. Spending a lot of time on the island down here, boating, fishing. You know, I tried to always keep a positive attitude. Uh, you know, I went in thinking that, you know, we should all just embrace all the uncomfortableness, all the rain, all the sand, all the dirtiness. And uh, so that positive attitude, I think, might have helped. And also, I'm pretty handy with the machete, the, uh, the building, the fires, and, and all that. We're sitting in a special spot here, uh, and not every boat captain can take people to the spot we're at. Uh, tell me what, where we are and what makes it special. Well, Jeff, I brought you guys into Hurricane Hole, uh, Virgin Islands National Monument here out of Coral Bay. This is a wonderful place because in 2000, it was deemed a national monument, so the waters are protected from fishing, anchoring. Uh, it's no wake zone inside here, and yes, Island Roots Charters is one of six tour operators here in St. John that has permitted access to bring um, guests into the, the beautiful mangroves here. It's just gorgeous, calm, clear waters, um, wonderful snorkeling. So you're looking inside of where all the roots are, and you'll have all sorts of juvenile species of fish, lobster, conch, squid, sea anemones, and uh, you know, everything kind of starts out here and they make their way out into the deep blue. Growing up on the islands was great. Uh, we lived out in the uh, south side of St. John, John's Folly. And my mom was a stay-at-home mom, so we just lived uh, you know, out at the house, running around, she says, uh, you know, with the chickens and you know, the backyard full of cacti and uh, going to the beach. Salt Pond used to be one of our go-to spots and my dad brought some photo album down and I was looking through the other day and no one at Salt Pond. But uh, yeah, the island was a lot more quiet back then. So Island Roots came into my hands via John Stewart, who was the previous owner. He, uh, he bought the boat and started Island Roots about five years ago from the ground up. This past spring he was sadly diagnosed with pancreatic cancer and uh, shortly thereafter got in touch with me and it just so happened it worked out that I was in the right place and right time in my life. You know, kids, families, some people that I get in the water that may have never snorkeled before and you get them in and you're holding their hand at first and they don't think they can do it and by the end of the day they are swimming all by themselves, no noodle and uh, the, you know, building their confidence and having them say, hey, thanks, we had a great day, it, it, it's really nice. St. John is far enough away from all the hustle and bustle of the states. It, you know, it has a, a family feel to it down here, but really it's, you're on your own here. You know, you, uh, you make stuff happen for yourself and uh, there's freedom to that and uh, I like that. It's just another tough day at the office. <laughs>